Way to go, Fire Emblem Heroes, proving me wrong in less than a week. Okay, I'm not actually upset here. Pirates may not really be my thing, but it's a cool concept for a banner, and there's definitely a ton of characters that can be built around this theme. Some more expected than others. My main reaction here is to the two completely new heroes, Vika and Lifus, both of whom I listed as less likely candidates for inclusion in heroes in my recent video on that very subject. Yet, hardly for the first time, IS has thrown me for a loop. Between the two, I think I'm less surprised by Vika. First because of waifu factor, and second because she's more or less a blank slate in Radiant Dawn. To the point that here she's been added alongside an Asala alt when the two don't ever interact and aren't even in the same army before Endgame. Heroes is going to have to really work to stretch her minimal character traits, although depending on the unit, they've proven themselves capable of that in the past. The only reason I can ever remember anyone bringing up Vika in fandom is that her official art in Radiant Dawn makes her look rather high. I think it's the eyes, and they've kept those for heroes, so do with that what you will. Still, give it up for the first member of the Lagu's Emancipation Army to make it into heroes, and condolences to any theoretical fans of Nasala's retainer Neoluchi, who I'd say is now even more of a long shot pick. As for Lifus, isn't it cute how Fed just barely skims the edge of what it means to be a real pirate when talking about him? Lifus runs a gang of pirates who Leaf has to deal with in the game's third chapter and first Fog of War map, and I'm talking Thracia Fog of War here, which is an extra level of awful. Look up FE5 Chapter 2X sometime, and you'll see what I mean. He's most infamous, though, for attempting to coerce the priest Safi into marriage, so he's clearly got the raping and pillaging aspects of piracy down pat. Lovely. Nevertheless, he's got a very slight through line of character development over the course of the game that a remake could potentially expand into something. So if we're talking morally questionable allied characters, Lifus may not rank quite as high or low, I guess, as someone like Oliver or Hubert. Aside from those two, though, not much about this banner surprises me. Nasala was an easy choice for a pirate banner, Camilla is just made for alts for fairly obvious reasons, and moreover, it's high time we had a Fates duo unit pairing up counterpart royals. Camilla and Hinoka were predictable first picks there, and although there's not much chance of it, I can cross my fingers and hope for a duo Xander and Ryoma one day. Give the big brothers some love too, I guess. At least Surtur is showing off some bulge, which is not something you see every day in Heroes, and goes some way toward establishing a sense of fan service equity. Maybe I'll actually think twice about the guy sometime now, instead of dismissing him as a lazy riff on Ganon from The Legend of Zelda. Between him and Tabarn from last time, these pirate banners have been pretty good for me in that department, come to think of it. That'll do it for my first ever reaction video, though. This was a spur-of-the-moment piece for me, but I saw the Heroes Channel video last night and thought to myself, hey, you know what would be a fun follow-up to that long video you just put out about who might get into Heroes? A reaction vid where you gripe about how you got two of them wrong already. I'm probably not going to make this a regular habit, unless my subscribers find this sort of thing entertaining and would like to hear me break down the characters appearing in new banners and how I feel about their mainline appearances more often. Be sure to like the video and subscribe, and if you haven't, check out my long prediction video on Heroes. I may have gotten two of them wrong, but that still leaves something like 200 more predictions that could go one way or the other. Au revoir!